I own a Generac whole house generator and it will not transfer power when it goes out. Do you know the model of your Generac generator? How old is it? I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it's the 11KW. It's four years old. How long has this been going on with your Generac generator? What have you tried so far? I had the battery and oil changed, piped in a new LP regulator. It's been going on for about two months. Is there anything else the engine expert should know before I connect you? Rest assured that they'll be able to help you. No. Hello, my name is I would like to assist you with this. What are the model number and serial number of the genset? Hi Hank, I'm trying to find the model number right now. It's an 11KW. I don't have the SN on hand, it's at my grandparents' house. I'm going to need both numbers to get the proper schematics. Yeah, I don't have either, my apologies. But I just had a question about the ATF. ATS I do have the model number for that. RTG 16 is a 3. I also need the serial number to check on the warranty status of that unit. The gen set and the TS are a system, and both are required to make the TS work properly. The problem may not be in the TS at all. Good morning Hank, I have a photo of that SN and model number if you don't mind can I send it over to you? You can send a photo if you want, but I don't need it. I just need to know the model number and serial number. Model G0070321 serial number hash hash hash. Okay. Your unit is still under partial warranty. Parts will be covered, but labor will not. My recommendation would be to contact your local authorized Generac service facility and have this repaired under warranty. If you want to do this yourself, I can help you, but you will be losing the parts portion of the warranty, and you would be responsible for the cost of any parts. If you wish to proceed with that, I will need a statement from you acknowledging that you are aware that you will be voiding your warranty by working on it yourself. Wow that's crazy because we hired a contractor to change the battery and oil change and got hit with a huge charge for parts and labor. Guess I'll need to find out if that warranty is already voided then. Batteries and oil changes are not covered under warranty. They are considered maintenance items. Oh okay perfect. Well let me check with my grandma and see what she would like to do. One moment. Okay. Okay, so is the transfer switch fall under the same warranty? Just out of curiosity. I do believe I'm going to continue with working on it myself and voiding the warranty. Yes, the transfer switch is part of the system, so falls under the same warranty. Okay, cool, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just try to fix it myself and void the warranty. Okay. You already stated that the unit will not transfer to Gen when the power goes out. But does it retransfer back to utility when the power comes back on? What happens is the utility power goes out, General. Is switched to auto and it won't come on. I have to switch to manual and it will start right up. But, it won't transfer power to the house even when it is running. I had a technician come out and basically fill us full of crap and told us that the generator isn't getting enough gas and needs a new regulator. 
I work for a propane company so I piped in a new LP regulator and it fired just fine. The craziest part is that before the battery got changed everything worked fine. I got the error charger missing AC every time a blackout happens. I checked the fuses, T1, F1, etc. Everything is fine. You will get the charger missing AC error every time the power goes out. If the power goes out, there is no 120 volts powering the charger until the genset starts running, and the transfer switch is tripped to standby. Have you checked to make sure the battery is connected properly? For some reason, my dealer portal is not showing me which transfer switch you have. What are the model and serial numbers of the TS? When utility is lost, does the genset not do anything at all, or does it crank but just not start? I haven't checked the battery yet, but the generator doesn't do anything at all when the power goes out. No crank or anything at all. The warranty won't be voided till I actually work on it correct. As soon as I switch it to manual and start it, I have no issues. But it still doesn't transfer power to the house. That is correct. If the genset is fully programmed, but doesn't even attempt to start on loss of utility, the controller is most likely shot. You know the engine side of things are okay if the unit starts manually. The controller is also what controls the transfer switch. Ah okay, I was afraid it might have been something in transfer switch. Is the controller located in the transfer switch itself or in the generator? The controller is in the genset. It is still possible that there is also an issue in the TS. The controller is a rather expensive part. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.